Yo, what's good, Prestige community? It's Zav or PMHD here. We're hosting our biggest giveaway ever four modded accounts and six free gift cards of your choice. There are 10 winners to enter. Follow the steps on screen. Yo, how's it going, everybody? Double TG back with another GTA 5 video. So, today, guys, we have a director mode glitch. It's really a single player to multiplayer glitch, but it's the same thing. You can make a money glitch out of this. I'll be uploading how to do that if you guys don't know. But it's amazing. It's back. So with that out of the way, let's get straight on with the video. So to start off with today's video, what you need to do is be on the character that you want to have the glitched outfits on. So that means you need to go to your other character, put on the correct clothing that you want to do, and then go to your main character so you can have the glitched outfits on that. After you do that, go to story mode. After you load in story mode, go to the nearest peyote plant. I'll show you a waypoint on the map. When you make it to the peyote plant, you need to get a warrant level. You're going to need to know this cheat code because you're going to have to do it later on in the glitch. So I'll leave in the description on how to do the cheat code. And so you need to get a warrant level and once you have that warrant level, press right on the d-pad to eat the plant. Once you spawn in as an animal, press your home button and go to recent activities. Here find someone that's robbed a store or completed a bounty because it needs to stay start GTA online not start GTV. Hover over start GTA online and double tap your home button. Now here you just need to wait for the cops to kill you. Once your screen starts looking weird, double tap your home button, press GTA Online, and accept the alert. Now you need to go over to network and hover over the internet. Disconnect and reconnect your internet and wait for it to spawn you in the story mode. Accept this alert. Now your screen's gonna go white and it may be white for a while. So you're gonna have to hear. You're not gonna be able to see anything, you're gonna have to hear. So you'll need to listen for yourself to spawn into story mode. Once you spawn in the story mode, do the cheat code to get cops on you. And you're going to have to wait for the cops to kill you. So you'll know when the cops kill you because your screen will go normal. Right here, press your home button. Go to recent activities. And do the same thing. Find somebody with a bounty or rob a store and click it because it needs to say start GTA online. When you see that, click it and accept the alert. Now two things will happen when you spawn in online. One could happen is you'll spawn in online as Michael, Franklin, or Trevor, whoever you selected. And you can run around in an online session and play as them. If that happens to you, then you'll have to find another peyote plant somewhere on the map. And when you go to eat it, it's not going to show the animation. You you'll just look normal. But you'll feel your controller vibrate. And as soon as you feel your controller vibrate, press pause and go to swap character. In my case, I spawned in and it was still a white screen. Now, if that happens, then press pause 
go to online and swap character. You'll know what happens is you'll hear and if you hear yourself spawning and you're still on that white screen that's when you press pause and go to online. As you can see I spawned in online with the white screen so I press pause and I go to online and just simply click swap character. When you load into this room all you need to do is select a character that you don't want the outfits on. So I select my secondary character. So basically you're clicking the character that you're not playing on. Now you'll load on the screen for a while and you'll keep loading until you see a timeout error. Alright, right here, just accept the alert, and your screen will be frozen. Now, your screen will remain frozen until and when you see it start moving, hold your home button and close the application. After the glass break, hold down L1 and R1 and continue to hold down L1 and R1 until you see the Rockstar logo in a few moments. Right here, let go of L1 and R1 and then load to story mode. When you load into story mode, just press pause, go to online, play GTA online, and press go or invite only session, it doesn't really matter. You'll have to check the box to go into online, so just check the box and click submit whenever you have to. Now whenever you load into an online session, just go to the nearest clothing store. Once you make it to the clothing store, go to the counter and you can see all the outfits that uh, transferred over from my male character to my female character. You know, you can make some really cool outfits.
for me not to hit Yeah, whole city love me and it got me lit Yo, what's good Prestige community, it's Zav or PMHD here. Don't forget to check out the director featured in today's video if you enjoyed it. Sub link is at the top of the description. Check out our previous videos too. Subscribe, stay tuned, stay prestige. Peace.